like walking through. I oh, don't know. It's just uh, not comfortable. I like the. <laughs> hey there, and welcome to Wake Up. This is a an indie horror game on Itch.io that I came across, and you know it has been a while. Well, it hasn't been that long. Chimpy Chippers was the last Itch.io game I played. And so, okay, so the story for this game. Have you ever been stuck in a nightmare? No, this time you did. Try to find a way to wake up. Uh, for best experience, play with headphones on, loud, in a dark room. Can't do that, it's actually daytime this time around. Of course, with that said, um, this is supposed, what, I'm assuming this is supposed to be like some sort of, when you have sleep paralysis, like those demon, those sleep paralysis demons. This is what I imagine one would look like, I guess. I never had sleep paralysis myself. Uh, and I wouldn't want to. Uh, the the feeling of not being the idea that you are literally like awake in a body that you can't move is terrifying. But regardless, with that said, if you do enjoy, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff. If you want to check this out for yourself, in the description below, as always. Now let's get into this. We gotta try our best to wake up, you know. Ooh. Oh wow. Okay. So right now we're dreaming. And in our nightmare, right? I'm assuming, or maybe it's one of those cases like you wake up, you think you're awake. Oh. Oh, that is so dark. Yikes. Um. Why is it so dark in here? Oi. What the hell is that? On the floor to my right. I don't want to look at it too. What the hell is this? Oh. Recycling bins. Okay. Yes, uh, bleach. Am I pouring bleach right now? Th this is bleach, right? That's like the first thing that I thought of. That. Okay, close, cl cl close it. Don't want. Oh, yeah, I I'm, I'm trying to close it. Actually, this is more of a water bottle. My bad. I don't know why I thought bleach instantly. Look, like it looked like from the angle, like a bleach bottle. Let's let's have some water, you know. Nice glass of water. I guess. I guess we kind of like was like. You know what? We woke up, you know, feeling thirsty. Now, I had my glass of water. I'm gonna leave the fridge open, you know, because I don't ca I have nothing in the fridge, so it's literally pointless to... Uh... Oh, I dropped my water bottle. I dropped my cup. I just dropped it. Like, even being in my own house in the dark, I'm not a fan of. Oh, oish. <laughs> not a fan of it at all. Oh, uh, a developer note also... Did I leave the water running? Well, anyways, this game was made for the Itchio-themed horror game jam number 8. No idea. So, you know, cool. The water's been left running. I, I, the fridge is open, like, before. It seems like it's in the bathroom. Hey, I didn't go... Oh, this door better not close behind me, I swear. Holy... I, I called it. Whoa, 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 where am I? Is that a car? Is that my car? <laughs> Assuming I drive anyway. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> Why did it get so scared of that? Oh, God. Oh, what the? I tell you, I'm one of the easiest people to startle. Like, I knew, like, I had a feeling I was gonna have, like, it doesn't matter. How's that? Close, close behind me. Yep, there you go. No, no, nope. Find the key. Oh, God damn it. Gotta find the key. I don't want to find a key. This is a very. I mean, I'm assuming I have to go up to those lights, right? And I can't sprint. Luckily, it's always a bad idea. It's always bad when you know you can sprint in a horror game because it means. What is this? That chandelier? What the hell? Red lights. All right. Get ready. Oh, nothing. Okay. I really thought that chandelier was just gonna like, drop in front of me or on top of me or something. That's all right. I got a key. No, don't turn around. That's also a bad idea. <laughs> what the? Oh, hi. Okay, that, there's my sleep paralysis demon. There you go. Very ominous soundtrack, I will say. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I made it out of the bathroom, finally. 
Can I go outside? No, door. No, not even an option. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't live in a house, so... You know, it's not like I have to worry about... Like, I don't know, and it's not even that, it's just like... Just cre I don't like making a lot of noise at night. Uh, I would like I wouldn't want it like like walking through. I don't know. It's just uh, not comfortable. I like the. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> that was rather short. <laughs> I was going to just leave it at this, I guess, but. Uh, I do have another game I was going to play. That that was nice. I got, uh, I will never know if we actually did wake up. For all we know, that was a guy in a weird deer uh, costume. But in general, for a game, it's pretty nice in general. Either way, with that said, I guess we'll check out the other game. I guess. All right, and we're here with a game on Itchio again called "There Is a Man in the Attic." I think it's as self-explanatory as possible. Quick note, the the last game was made by Ludzik on Itch.io, and this game is made by Gone North. This is a short experimental horror game they made in their free time. Uh, Model and texture and blutter rendered in Unreal 4, and it takes about 10 minutes as well. So When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at that time. And when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my speak. Like my sleep. Right. I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, "Somebody is here. There is a man here. He is here." It freaked my brother out in the middle of the night a couple of times. I'm an adult now, and that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. That's 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 a creepy feeling. I've I have I've I get that feeling a few times. Like sometimes, even in the videos, I'll sometimes I'll notice that um, I thought I heard something and it freaks me out because it's literally, it's the worst thing. Like, I have my door to my back, right? So, and that's another thing, like I hate, I hate, I wish my door wasn't to my back, but it is. It's just very uncomfortable because I'm the only one awake, right? I'm the only, I'm, I'm the only one near the front, I'm the closest to the front door. I can't, I, I have my door to the back of me, so I can't see that. And I like to be very, uh, aware of my surroundings and when i'm recording i can't i'm not nearly as aware because well i'm one focused on speaking like right now and two especially with like all these games like fnaf style games where i'll have to like pay attention to sound cues or i'm like immersed in a game in general i can't be that aware and it's not, i don't usually think about that all the time but it's like when i look when i think about this nightmare is like that's really not, that's not necessarily a nightmare for me it's just like it's something that i'm just paranoid about like imagining like just so i always i imagine so many times like there's someone like watching me in my room and it's like it's creepy as hell absolutely oh it's not comforting and so now so oh hold on your phone Oh, this game looks really nice. Well, like, it is an Unreal 4, so props, models look really nice. Now, where is my phone? Oh, wow. A quaint little home, I'd say. We got, like... Boy, I heard it. It's over here. Oh, Let's check the phone. Hey, brother. I just wanted to let you know that we arrived at home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time, and it was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologize for Lily's behavior, but you know how kids are, and their imagination. She was probably very tired as well. See you later. See you later. Take care. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, imagination. It was getting late. It's getting late, but I should clean up first. Imagination about what? <laughs> what, did she, what did she see, huh? Did, did she see something? Today my brother came to visit, and he brought his family along. His wife and her seven-year-old daughter. Her name is Lily, and technically she's my niece. Well, she is your niece. Uh, it's been a while since I last seen them, so we spent about a half hour catching up with each other, just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her, after all. Adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. It is. Uh, I am a pretty good uncle, so I offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room, showed her all the cartoon channels, and left her there to watch some TV, away from the boring adults. She was grateful. Okay. That's good to hear, you know. Especially when a lot of times children have to get dragged to like family gatherings. I remember that. I hated it so much. I'm sure many can relate to that. Uh, the night went on, and it seemed like everyone had a good time. 
Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. And that's when all of a sudden, Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple minutes before she could speak, but then she finally said this. There was a man upstairs, staring at me from the doorway. Confused, perhaps a bit frightened, we all went upstairs, searched everything, checked the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story, claimed she was just getting tired, and soon after, they left for the night. I'm once again completely alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. So, I wonder if... I wonder if, um... So, I don't know how much of this... Uh, I, right, I don't know how much of this is based on real life as well, right? Um, like, the story that is being told here, I don't know how much of that is based in, like, real life events or anything. If it was, then I would be terrified, because if I had, like, let's say, if I had a nightmare like that, right, a, re a recurring nightmare of seeing this man in the attic, and then all of a sudden, um, you know, someone else starts at least mentioning similar details... You know, I'd be concerned as well. I'd be very... Uh, according to Lee's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from the doorway, before returning to the attic, just like in my dreams. Oh, hell no. I thought... I thought... Wait, wait, whoa. Okay, I got a bit shivers there. Wait, so she's telling me... Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. Ooh, ooh, so you're telling me... Search the attic. I don't want to search the attic. <laughs> so you're telling me you were here. Where Lily was here. And she saw him from the door. I'm sorry. That's clear as day. How do you... I don't... How A child could not imagine... I mean, don't get me wrong. Children can have very active imaginations. But... I would... <laughs> I, I'd be kind of worried. I mean, they did search the attic. So... You know, unless there's a, cre a clever space... Oh, no. Door. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing the door close. Oh, no. Stop. No, no, no. Bro. It doesn't get more ominous than that. They could be anywhere. I mean, it's obvious that they're pointing to if there is a guy. You know, we heard sounds. Unless this is part of the nightmare as well, right? Um, You know, you would think, you would instantly think, uh, if there is someone in my house, in the attic, they're right there. But look how much... Well, anyone could be hiding in the void right here. Very cleverly. And I'm just like, no way. If I... This is like, this is like dumb territory right here. You don't do this kind of stuff. You... What? <laughs> what in God's name is that painting? No. No, 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 no. Oh my... This is a horrible position. Because I don't... I don't check... If I turn my back, that's dumb because they could be anywhere here. But if but they could also be anywhere. They could be anywhere, anywhere. And that painting doesn't make things better. Sometimes you have to just be. This is what I'm talking about: hyper awareness on the full fullest level. The next thing, no, but we go back to bed. I don't want to go. Oh no no no! Stop stop stop. I don't think. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that wasn't intended. And uh, you know, you know what? This one thing I'm, I'm not a fan of this room. This, this closet. This closet is not the move. I hate seeing closets like these. I hate. I hate. I don't. I wouldn't want. I don't. I wouldn't want a closet like this. If I'm gonna have a closet, it better. It's gonna be like an open door closet or like no door closet. Excuse me. Screw that. Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake, and you anxiously search for the cause, but you won't find anything, and you question it once more. That is exactly me. That is liter literally. Sometimes it'll be like that. Sometimes I'll, I'll feel like I hear something, or I'll, or I'll think I imagine seeing something, and it, it'll keep me up at night. I'll feel very uncomfortable about going to sleep. Is the man in the attic real? I sure hope not. <laughs> But here, here's the thing, if I heard noises in the attic that, you know, couldn't be explained away by, like, a rat or something, right, if it was, like, very obviously a man that, or very obviously something that only a person could do, then I would call the police. Better safe than sorry.
What's going on here? Oh, <laughs> oh, eyes. Oh, that's actually I, I like that. That was very subtle. Fear is subjective, but it's not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic or the man in the basement. Perhaps the man under your bed. Very true. I mean, well, luckily in my case with my bed, I could see very clearly under the bed, so I don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, pl thank you for playing my specific fear, the man in the attic. Yeah, uh, that's a very co that's very understandable to be honest. I wouldn't. If I ever get a house, I would not want a. I, I wouldn't want an attic. Um, I w it, like basement. It dep like it depends on what you mean by basement. Like obviously, if you mean like an actual basement, like one room basement, then I guess I mean. I, I don't know. I wouldn't. I don't know. It's just like it's one of those things where it's like, <laughs> I'd be I'd be paranoid. I'd be paranoid. But that was pretty cool. That was a, a nice little like. I, that was more storytelling, if anything. That was like more of a journey through. Uh, that specific fear, which you know, is is perfectly understandable. I guess, especially like I guess, depending on like how you know, like what he was talking about. If you hear like if you hear something that just like rubs you the wrong way, it's like what could have made that sound? It it really screws with you. It really does. But of course, that's a, that has been a man in the attic or the man in the attic. Excuse me. Very nice. Very nice. Very you know. I think like in general, it's just like. Oh, it's very rela it's very relatable. Even if you don't have an attic or a basement or anything like like the idea, the fear behind it is I think is like definitely one of the most common I imagine and one of the more relatable fears. But yeah, those are those are two really cool games. Uh, and oddly related too. All right, so this is a last minute addition to the games I've played Wake Up and There is a Man in the Attic. This is No Snake Hotel by Two Star Games over on Itch.io. This is the same developer that is making uh, if you see the bottom right, that is making the game Choo Choo Charles on Steam. I'll leave that as well as this game in the link below. But regardless, with that said, uh, I guess we're just going to hop right in. No Snake Hotel. Oh, I might as well read the thing. Ooh. Welcome to the No Snake Hotel, the only hotel with a 99.99% .99 No Snake Guarantee. Here That's great. No Snake Hotel, we pride ourselves in our incomprehensible lack of snakes. At other hotels, you run the constant risk of finding a snake in your bed sheets, a snake in oh, your really? toilet, or even waking up to a snake sliding down your throat. It happens Ooh. more than you'd think. Call the front no desk way. for questions and enjoy your stay at the No Snake Hotel. Oh, wonderful. I just arrived at the hotel. Good golly, Bart, this place is immaculate. You know how much I hate snakes, so I went out of my way to stay at the No Snake Hotel. They've really done it, Bart. There are absolutely no snakes in this hotel. Uh, I, not like I can really relate. I've only been to a motel. Um, that was like years ago, but never had to deal with snakes back then. Find room 100. Oh wow, so we've got quite a ways to go then. Oh, and I can sprint. You know that's always a bad sign, as I said. The devil incarnate, step on it. Yeah, exactly. I'm living the dream. I didn't think it was possible, but I sure am happy it is. The Snow Snake Hotel really lives up to its name. Ever since I was a little girl and got abducted by an army of rabbit snakes while on vacation, I haven't left my house. After 50 years in solitude, I finally have a safe place where I can vacation. Thanks, No Snake Hotel. Yeah, that's that's a lie. No way. You're re <laughs> you know, I'll just why is the light out? For, the lights out for that one. What the hell is one? This one's like kind of barricaded. Okay. Everywhere except here. Mhm. Mm I feel safer than ever here. All right. Uh, these are all just. Hmm. One time at some other hotel, I walked into my room, and when I turned around to shut the door, there was a snake as long as my arm dangling from the coat hook. But here at the No Snake Hotel, I don't need to worry about what creepy, slithering creatures might be standing behind me. Oh, you're right. And is that, that better not be my room? Why are these rooms barricaded? What's going on? How do you even get? How do you even? Managed to get a sofa chair, like, uh, or love seat, I guess this is called. Like, how, how do you get that in front of your door like that? What the hell is that, that noise? They may have no snakes, but I wouldn't say it's 100% customer satisfaction. 
that blood. Ew. Oh, whoa. Aha. Uh -huh. The the guarantee is when bro the hundred percent no snakes. That's that's a lie. There you go. I would like my Oh shoot! Oh god! Oh run 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 no 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 oh god oh god that's a giant ass thing. Get in the elevator out of order <laughs> Oh <laughs> out of order <laughs> The door opens really just to tell me that like oh too bad Also I guess I'd definitely like to say one I'd like to say one thing. Uh, apparently this was made in twenty four hours over two days for an epic YouTube challenge. That is crazy. In two hours. In two hours. In 24 hours. That is actually nuts. But wow. Well, Alright. I guess I just wanted to like. I guess put that in there. <laughs> oh that was great. I'm really excited though for Choo Choo Charles. It's so like. I don't know how to explain it. It's just so out there. But of course with that said. If you did enjoy. Leave a like. Subscribe. Comment. All that good stuff. And if you want to check out either. Wake Up by Ludwig. Ludzik. Excuse me. Or there's a man in the attic by Gone North. Both games will be in the description below. And with that said, I hope to see you in another video. Take care.